Go ahead, um, can you come up? Um, can you put your mic up there? Oh. I heard what you just said. Press the wrong person on the mic. Press the right one. Curtis, press the right one. There you go. There you go. Hi. Um, I'm a junior and I'm a student at SWC. So I had a question. If you guys are covering it, what about the HLC accreditation? Because I thought it was supposed to be separate from the Arab and And if that was. I'm not like, what about our accreditation, our financial aid, everything that's helping us as students get the education that we need. What, what was your name again? Ligia Morgan. Okay, I appreciate your comments and not to make you nervous or anything, you are in a listening audience, it's been broadcasted, mm -hmm. so thank you, yeah. I appreciate your words. Um, Lake Travis, the floor is yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So those are things that we checked on before we we would never, ever jeopardize your education or your financial aid. I believe that those things have been said, have been said and stated outside of the accreditation documents in that board as a as a free test. Because that there were certain members of the board that started saying that to us months ago. That we couldn't hear, we we couldn't hear um, talk to some of our members. It was jeopardizing our the accreditation. That's been thrown around a lot, and so we checked on that. And, that, and we would have never done something if it was jeopardized anything for the students. Thank you, um, Dion. Mm -hmm. that in a nutshell, um, my, my, my assistant Curtis can turn on my buttons. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dr. Adger, do you have anything else to say? I know we took, you've been talking with us for a while now, and we had a long day here in council. We worked over lunch, so my my, my speech is starting to slur now. I didn't have to talk all day. So the document, three pages that I wanted to go no. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say thank you to the students and to the staff who came in, um, as well as those that couldn't for um, your support. And um, council was very um, respectful to me, and um, I hope that I was respectful to them as well. So uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart for coming in and, and showing your support. I, uh, I really, I really, really appreciate every one of you. And you're why we're here. So thank you. Thank you, Dr. Asher. Um, Member of the council, I've got one more issue. I uh, appreciate everybody that's uh, here to support Dr. Asher. Thank you. Thank you. Dallas, uh, since you're the older team, I have a question. Put us up. Do some food in there tomorrow. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> so, anywho, the question I have is with HLC. And the accreditation and the review we had, I was pretty sure I read where that politics weren't supposed to be a part of the college itself. And so if you read something different, I'd like to see that. I mean, just in all fairness. Somebody after 18 years old had that word over in the But I, I think that's a legit request. That if you can show me where it says that where the HLC had responded back saying that you guys can take over the board without any repercussions coming from the HLC, not from you guys, but from the HLC itself. Because okay. they're the ones who decide if we get funding and we get credited and if we stay open. And that's what basically that's why the students are here and for support for the president but just so that they're not wasting their time and in two or three weeks while you guys are still governing hlc gets noticed or whatever and praising what they're coming for isn't worth it thank you dr johnson so i'll get a hold of hlc and make sure they're apprised of the situation and what's going on and stuff so it doesn't jeopardize their um, in the background so it doesn't jeopardize any of that this is um, a concern. It's, it happened with the Board of Trustees. It didn't happen with, um, 
with Dr. Azure as far as putting everything together. I mean, we've gone through this before. We've done this before, I mean, and, and it has not affected us. We try not to intervene with the college and try not to be political at all, and this board does not do that. And so they've stepped in, it's going to be two months, and then after that, they're bowing back out again. So I will get a hold of HLC and we'll, we'll go from there. All right, thank you, Dr. Johnson. And you can relay uh, that message over to Dr. Azure. All right, thank you. All right, I got another question. So, Dion just said that there wasn't going to affect anything, right? So then we have Dr. Johnson saying she was going to check to make sure. No, I'll check and I'll let them apprise of the whole situation so they know. Okay, so. I can, this, is, this is not appropriate to be doing it. Is it going to scare the students showing up here? Well, technically, in our education, when we have a right to know, do we not? Yeah. Do we not? Do we have a right to know? Is our education on the line? No, they're adults. They can hear it. They're over a the scare tactic. They are a scare tactic. It's not a scare tactic. We have a right to know, Dion. We have a right to know. We're students going to the college. We have a right to know. You saying we shouldn't be here is basically you don't deserve to know anything that you should. But yeah. First that you shouldn't be here. But what I don't appreciate is your staff who's supposed to be student services and supporting you guys making statements that are not true. You 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 no, you're not being respectful right now. This I have the floor. Just I have the floor. I have the floor. And I won't stand up. Easy as that. I have the floor. You came in that door when. First of all, Floor is still yours, dear. Thank you. I don't appreciate you coming in here when that door was closed and we have it. This is totally inappropriate. Your finger is still sticking out of this one. You sit here and preach. Respect and this event, but yet we still can have like elections. I don't appreciate this, Dr. Asher. We will, Dr. Johnson, Johnson, can you can you write something up and call me with the student body? <coughs> Thank you. Point in order, Susie, then on Dallas. I'm going to stand up and address the place to show you to my respect. But as a governing body, we're all adults here. We're supposed to be setting an example to you. And this is how we behave. No, this is not right. I apologize for us sitting around the circle for allowing us to get this far. So let's please be respectful of each other. And thank you for coming. And I appreciate you sharing Dr. Azure with us for this past couple of hours. This he educated me on what's going on at your college. You, you should be very proud of your leader because he's seen, you guys will move on. You guys may someday be sitting around the circle. And I apologize for what's happening here. So look, let's just be respectful. Stop the fighting. Let's start all over again. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I got that. Look at all the So I feel like everyone has concerns and they have questions. And I do feel that you guys should be able to address your questions to us if you feel the need to. And so, I mean, I do not condone the finger pointing, Dion. I mean, yes, it was a tense situation today, but they have general concerns, and you know, in order to ease the tension, we have to address the concerns. And the, in this particular instance, my father Vince had some questions that the student body itself felt was needed to be addressed. And I feel like Dr. Johnson mentioned should get a hold of the appropriate information and. To me, I thought we were moving forward pretty good there. Yeah. And so, 
I don't think there's anything wrong with asking any questions. I think it's just to try to diffuse the situation I had and make sure that everybody is comfortable with the decision moving forward because at the end of the day, and it's been stated many times, the issue today was with the board and it is now abolished and we're moving forward to fix this to prevent it from happening again in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dallas. Uh, Doc, I have to put it. Just one quick thing is um, the only thing that I really would have out this um, is that I am the president of, of the college and I am, I am the one who has a relationship with the Higher Learning Commission. Um, I'm the uh, representative of the college and I would appreciate it if I'm the person that contacts the Higher Learning Commission, not Dr. Johnson. There's no disrespect for her, but um, she is not an employee of the college, and um, I am, and so I would just appreciate it if they re re redirect that um, to me, and I will contact the person um, necessary of our, our liaison with the Learning Commission and let them know what has taken place in that group plans, and that uh, we are uh, more than willing to work with uh, tribal council in this um, time of, of uh, uh, need, and um, we will get through it because that's what we do. And um, I assure the students that your your status will not be affected. Um, we will make sure of that. And, um, so I'm I'm asking for that. Thank you, Dr. Yes. And also, too, when you guys attend the board meet together, that's fine. 